my friends, I have something new that I would like to share with you. Um, besides being a podcast host and all the other fun things that I love putting on my invisible business card, I'm also a writer on Substack, which is basically another digital diary platform I have to write about all the experiences that I've had since my quote unquote spiritual awakening. For all of you that do not know or have not experienced or do not believe in a spiritual awakening, um, it's coming home to yourself. It's understanding there's more outside of you than you could have ever imagined and so many more. I'm still getting definitions over and over and over, but I find most of my truth comes out in a lot of the writings that I do with myself, whether I'm writing to my present self, my past self, or my future self. A lot of ick comes out, right? We, If you know what a dark night of the soul is or facing yourself in the mirror, however you would therapeutically, therapeutically like to put it. However, I did put a new free post up today and I decided it also needs to be on my streaming platforms. I have vowed that not only is this your safe space, but this is mine as well. So metaphorically, I'm slitting my wrists on the internet right now just so one, I can heal and let all of this out so it doesn't kill me. And two, I, I'm a part of the collective just like you. My story matters, your story matters, we're important, and we're insignificant all at the same time. So today, I am just going to throw something on my streaming platforms without the aid of my amazing producer, Andy, who mixes everything down for me, puts all of all of the great stuff in there that I have passed along to him. Thank goodness I have him in my life. And maybe the audio isn't going to be super perfect. Maybe I'll talk too loud or too too low. I don't know. But I'm going to get this out for you guys. You can find this on Substack for free. You can also add to the subscription to get the digital downloads from me. Um, but thanks for hanging along. Thanks for hitting play. We're going to go ahead and get into the post. It's called Write Her Off, Letters from an Ego Death. And um, yeah, we're just going to get into it. Are you ready? As I've said before, waking up isn't all it's cracked up to be, but I wouldn't want it any other way at this point. If I did not wake up, I do believe chronic illness was coming for me next. My body body physically breaking down on me, never having the knowledge that what I've experienced in this particular soul contract was still living in me. I thought I could run away from all the things that hurt me and just never look back. I thought I could wipe away all the times I was the villain in a it is what it is kind of way, but the divine doesn't work like that. And for that, I am eternally grateful. No need to procrastinate these life lessons for another repeated incarnation. I'm sure it would feel like deja vu coming back, only I'd be a different name identifying as a new incarnation. Now, for those who do not believe in the soul lessons or reincarnation for the sake of soul evolution... I'll never understand how you walk around every day and don't feel automatically fucked. I'm not sure how you can walk around without facing yourself, making yourself the villain for a short time, to just simply ask yourself why you felt the choice to play that role. I've slid through many masks over my short time on Earth. I felt hidden underneath a mask I did not want to wear for so many years, and even in my awakening years. In April... I'll be at a five-year mark of a dick-punched perspective change that still has my hands in the air wondering what on earth is going on. I've learned more about energy in the last four years than I was ever capable of grasping in any other part of my life. Through building that knowledge, I've been able to dive deeper into myself than I ever did in any of my notebooks. I found a relationship with my body I could barely comprehend when the subtle energies started creeping in to teach me there's so much more than the physical going on. As I am standing in the line of those who are completely blind to what was energetically going on outside and inside of them, I felt I should really speak on it. As I've always been a writer, I believed and still believe to this day that it is my main gift I was given when I entered this world. I have written about things that even as I wrote them have left me in 
absolute pure shame. All these icky things coming to the surface and armed with the knowledge now that sweeping what happened on the, under the rug is just karmic procrastination that will come back for me when the divine timing sees fit. So here I present what I wrote last night. As I tried to close my eyes and escape into the astral, the teleprompter in my head started writing to me again. I have no choice at this point but to honor the role of being the vessel these words choose to come out of. I am the hero, the villain, the victim, and the saint in all of these poetic reflections. I am also the young girl others experimented unconsciously with their judgments. I now have realized the weight of words have on others from an energetic and subconscious programming level. I have often wondered if the words they passed on to would have been stones instead if I would have been buried under rubble left for dead. As I try to climb from the rubble, will I be told I am just too weak to face what they tell me is the truth? Will I be shamed into believing their words did not hurt? That they just care and worry about me too much? Am I just too sensitive and weak for this over-masculated left brain world? As I present my findings to you of who I once was and who I am to be, all I ask is you take the pieces of you that you find in me. I am a piece of a whole collection egotistically feeling important and at the same time understanding the pinch of salt in the existence I truly am. I write from the lessons I've learned and document when I am walking through the fire. Here I present Write Her Off. It's originally written on my WordPress website, www.asirunirightshyly.com. If you've noticed reading my website that write, W-R-I-T-E, is spelled R-I-T-E, it's a fun play on misspelled words words I'll dictate in a later post. For now, enjoy the collective beat-up I was able to transcribe from a higher octave of myself. This is Writer Off. This is where my resentment had begun, when they wrote me off. In their minds, of course, I was too mouthy, too rebellious, didn't want to listen to so many black kettles boiling and spilling over. At the same time, so much negativity flying between two. It's hitting the children, yet they just pushed on through. I heard them talk of my mother, heard them talk of my father. Which side do I believe? No monster created me. I started to dig, wondered how high cortisol was when I became alive. Into the portal and out I cry. But I've always wondered, was I crying inside my mother the whole time? Could I have been born rebellious and already mouthy? Yet as my language formed, I was all ready to tell the truth. Yet no one wanted truth. They just wanted their side to be what I saw in my mind. So they write me off. I hear their thoughts. Must be a lost cause. No one will hire you when you're such a bitch and a snob. Must be a lost cause. Can't find a place in this world? I guess we were right. She's too far gone. Our God can't save her. Although we say we pray for her, we believe in our closed frame of mind we should write her off. We can't understand her. She's so different from us. Honestly, can't stand her. She mopes around us too much. Always looks like she's somewhere else, never present for our talks of mistrust. Let's mentally write her off, but let's also hug her and tell her we love her so the energy feels off. Let's advise her on our perspective and tell her this is the only way. Success is paved with sacrifice, and your own blood is the toll as we make our way to the grave. Make sure you buy a house you could never afford. Make sure you get the nice car so everyone thinks you deserve. Fill the house with children, even though no village of help exists. Don't forget to swipe credit cards. Everyone does it! You dropped out of college? Well, enjoy your peasant life. No one ever made it. Without this piece of paper, I am still in my 60s paying off. She's not listening to us again. Looks like she's in dreamland again. Just write her off. She's always marched to the beat of her own drum. So just let her walk. 
If she doesn't believe what we need her to believe, then she's a lost cause. We won't judge you, but we will pray for you. In our minds, where we think our thoughts of judgment are hidden, we will write her off. Use her as an example of what not to be, what not to say, and how not to act. She isn't a sheep like us. She's a lost cause. Write her off. We will use our eyes, the windows to our soul, to look at her mistakes and magnify her regret. Our compassion will come with strings. Are you ready to listen to us? We know what is best for you, even though we don't know you. She's not listening again. She's disassociating, daydreaming in her head. Write her off. She's just too much for us. As she sits there and listens to these black kettles, she resists consciously. However, deep down what they say is haunting me. You wrote her off, and now she's going to tell everyone the truth. That's where the poem ends. <sighs> if you're mind fucked by the end of this, don't worry. I was too. That's how my writings usually work. I just write and I write and I write and I let it all out. And then I go back and I reread it and I go, oh my God, I cannot believe that was in me. I'm so thankful that I'm able to transcribe this. I'm so glad this isn't in me. But again, in my vow to stay vulnerable with what's going on, there's so many things that I didn't understand that allowed me to be the villain in so many aspects of other stories and my own. There were so many things about my old personality, which is your personal reality. Whoa. So many things about that that I actually thought that I was stuck with. I never understood being programmed indoctrination, and I thought people who believed in conspiracy theories were just off their fucking rocker. But after my awakening and having the perception change that I did and being given the solitude and distance that I needed from all of the people that programmed me, I found we really aren't alone. We have a lot of help out there. If you Google visual light spectrum, it'll show you just how much the human eye is capable of seeing and what is actually out there that we can't see with our eyes. And this isn't woo-woo shit. I'm just talking about even seeing the energy going on in a microwave. You know, we can't see that with our eyes, but we know through science proving it to us that something's happening to food in a microwave. Um, it's poisoning you, but I guess that's another episode. What I'm trying to say is being vulnerable is really fucking hard for me. Um, ridicule is something none of us want, but it's something that adds to suicide ideation for me. Feeling like you were born to do something beautiful and not really knowing how to present it to the world. I'm just really grateful that, one, I have this platform to talk to all of you. I'm able to write on all the platforms I am. And self to self, I'm honestly really proud of myself that I'm able to publish any of this shit for anybody to read. I thought that I was going to die and I was just going to leave my notebooks. So after my funeral, everyone who was like, oh, what happened? Why? Why did she do it? I thought if they would just read my journals, they would understand all the little moments in life that added to what I thought was my demise. You can call it a mental health crisis. You can call it depression. But it's really how we all treat each other and how we don't take accountability for how we treat each other, our children, our families, our cousins, our aunts, our aunts, our uncles, and fucking strangers. The way that we talk to each other and talk about each other when we're not around, acting like there is no energetic consequence for our words, that's what I want you to get from my story. That's what I want you to get when you find a piece of yourself. Take accountability for how truly powerful you are. 
you are significant and you are insignificant all in the same paradox. And we're all here to honestly love and help each other. And I think with as crazy as everything is in the world right now, that it's getting comical to people to believe that love could save us. But it's the only choice we're all going to have. If anything crazy pops off, which it already is, alien invasions, yada, 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 go down the list of every confirmed conspiracy theorist. Things are getting crazy. We're getting things disclosed to us that we're told were not even possible happening in the world. And I've noticed when crisis happens, wealth and race don't really matter when it comes to all of us banding together. And if you've ever read any of Nostradamus' prophecies, he talks about the soul group of rainbow warriors being incarnated in a certain time. And he talks about how catastrophes come to where it blows the race wars away because we all as humanity will have to band together for what's coming next. So it's getting pretty scary out there. And if my time is running out to speak to all of you about what I've found in this specific incarnation, then here it is. Here's my digital diary for all of you. Here's my translations of my direct experience with being a human. And I really hope that we all band together because I really think the Beatles are fucking right. I think all you need is love. And if I'm a corny ass hippie for believing that, well, come on over and join me. We're nice over here. We take accountability for ourselves. And even if we have a shadow side moment, we take the time to figure out why we acted that way and we fix it. We apologize and we move forward in love. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and get this edited and get it out to you guys. And um, I'll see you on the next episode. I love you guys.